No good trains for Gordon. Lots of engines on the Omnisodor have their main jobs. Thomas's main job is pulling Annie and Clarabelle around his branch line. And Percy's main job is delivering the mail. But they have different jobs as well, like pulling freight cars. One day, Gordon was cross. He had to pull a goods train instead of nice, shiny express coaches. A goods train, moaned Gordon. Oh, the shame. Edward was getting annoyed of Gordon's complaining. Gordon, you need to understand that pulling the express isn't going to be your everyday job. It should be, Edward. I am an express engine, not a goods engine. Oh. <sighs> oh, a goods train, a goods train, a goods train. Oh, the shame. Hello, Gordon, whistled Henry. Want me to help you? Gordon was shocked. But isn't it your day off? he asked. Yes, said Henry, but I still want to help you. I'll take that good string for you. Oh, well, uh, thank you, Henry. I really appreciate that. Henry backed up the Gordon's goods train and was coupled up. And he puffed away. Gordon was very happy. Later, Sir Topham Hatt came to see Gordon. Gordon, I heard that the goods train was on time. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, sir, said Gordon. Sir Topham Hatt didn't know that Henry was the one that pulled Gordon's goods train. Now, Gordon, I want you to take this goods train and deliver it to the docks. Uh, yes, sir. Then Henry arrived back at the yard. He was very tired. <laughs> then an idea popped into Gordon's funnel. If I tell Henry that I need help with this goods train, I'm sure he wouldn't mind pulling another one. Then I'll no longer be going the goods engine anymore. I'll be back as Gordon the Express Engine, he thought to himself. <laughs> uh, Henry, isn't it right you can pull another good string for me? Asked Gordon in an ill voice. There's something wrong with my boiler, and I can't pull it. Well, even though it's my day off, said Henry, I will pull it for you. After all, friends help each other. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. I hope you feel better, Gordon. Gordon felt proud. He thought he was being clever. As Henry huffed and puffed with Gordon's good string, he saw Edward talking to Sir Topham Hatt. Sir Topham Hatt was surprised to see Henry pulling Gordon's good string. Henry, why are you pulling Gordon's good string? Gordon was feeling ill, explained Henry, so I'm pulling it for him. Gordon isn't feeling ill. Puffed Edward. He was perfectly fine when I was shunting those freight cars for him. Henry couldn't believe it. G Gordon tricked me. Why would he do that? Don't worry, Henry, said the top man. We'll talk to him. Gordon was relaxing on a sighting. He was very happy that he didn't have to pull goods trains anymore. <laughs> oh, hello, Henry. You tricked me, Gordon, said Henry crossly. Well, what are you talking about? You tricked Henry into making him pull in your goods train. You complain about pulling goods trains is one thing, Gordon, boom said Topham Hatt. But thus, you have gone too far. Apologize to Henry and go to your shed. Yes, sir. I'm sorry I tricked you, Henry. 
and thank you for pulling the good train for me the first time. You're welcome, Gordon, and I accept your apology. And Gordon puffs away to his chest.